In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to make your photos black and white. Because we like to do non-destructive editing in this class, we will use an adjustment layer. The adjustment layers are found down here at the bottom of the layers palette. It's the half black, half white circle. If we click on there, we can go to black and white. It immediately turns your photo black and white, but it gives you a whole bunch of options. You can individually control the different original colors of the photo. So if I want to bring the reds down and make everything that was red darker, I can. Or I could bring them up. I think I like them down a little bit. I can do the same with my yellows and get them to where I want them to be. And my greens, there's not a lot of green originally in the photo. Same with cyan, bring it up, bring it down, get it to where I want it to be. Same with my blues. And because it's non-destructive editing, our original picture is still here and we have just put an adjustment layer on top. Now the second part of making something black and white is sometimes to add in contrast. This photo already had a lot of contrast, um, but this photo is a little bit more heavy on the gray tones without a white, white, or black, black. So when we go through the process here, choose black and white. I can change these individual, maybe make the reds a little bit darker. Not a lot of them there. Um, I can also add a levels layer to give it a little bit more of a punch in terms of contrast. So now, after making it black and white with a black and white adjustment layer, I'm going up to levels and I can see my histogram, how many black pixels I have, how many white pixels, and how many of the different types of grays. Now I like to call these little mountain climbers and I like to bring them to the edge of the mountain and it makes it so the dark areas are a little darker and the light areas are a little lighter and it just makes a little bit more of a punch in that photo. Again, it's non-destructive, so if we ever want to make it invisible or actually throw it into the trash, we can do that and our original picture is still there underneath.